Hey everybody, it's Drew with Como Comic Books. In this video, we're counting down the top 10 Golden Age comics. Thanks for joining us today on our YouTube channel. If we're just meeting, my name's Drew Stewart. I am the owner of Como Comic Books, and we are a Columbia, Missouri-based comic book vendor, and we set up at comic shows and comic conventions all around the region. On our YouTube channel, our focus is bringing you the best tips and tricks that will help you take your comic collection to the next level. In today's video, we're talking about Golden Age comics. Golden Age books are a pretty tough genre to get into for most collectors, simply due to the fact that for the most part, they're fairly price prohibitive. Specifically, some of these superheroes, the more well-known issues, they can command just unreachable prices for the average collector. There are definitely Golden Age characters, Golden Age titles that are collectible and affordable for your typical collector. But the way I look at the Golden Age, it's really the foundation for comics as we know them now. So many of the classic characters that have permeated pop culture in the last 50, 60, 70 years got their beginning in the Golden Age. Characters like Batman, Submariner, the Human Torch, Superman, Wonder Woman, all of these characters were around at really the dawn of the comic collecting hobby. Along with the first appearance of so many of these key heroes, you also see a lot of their supporting characters make their debuts in Golden Age books. And the combination of those early and key first appearances, along with the relative difficulty that exists in the world as far as keeping paper in one piece over the course of 80 some odd years makes these books really hard to find particularly hard to find in nice condition and accordingly they command high values when you are able to track one down before we get into this week's list i want to give a quick shout out to some of the folks that took a moment to drop us a comment on our last video if you haven't seen it i'll post it up in the cards but in our last video we counted down our top 10 favorite graphic novels so if you have not had a chance to check that out yet go ahead and check it out once you finish watching this video. But for now, I wanna give a special thanks to Brett Jasper, Geneva, and Steve P. Thank you all for taking the time to interact with us in the comment sections and dropping us a like, hopefully subscribing, maybe even encouraging some of your friends to subscribe to our channel because we all know sharing is caring. So let's go ahead and get into the list. Number 10 in our top 10 list of Golden Age Comics is All Star Comics number eight. All-Star Comics number eight features the first appearance of Wonder Woman. Cover dated in December 1941, Wonder Woman's first appearance was originally slated to be in Sensation Comics number one, but a small eight-page story was pulled out and put into All-Star Comics number eight, and this is when the world is introduced to Wonder Woman for the very first time. Number nine on our list of top 10 Golden Age comics is Pep Comics 22. Also cover dated December 1941, Pep Comics 22 features the first appearance of everyone's favorite redhead, Archie Andrews. Also making their first appearance in this issue are Archie's pal Jughead and Betty Cooper. You may be wondering, where's Veronica Lodge? Well, Veronica doesn't show up until a few issues later. In the number eight spot is Captain America Comics number one. This issue features the first appearance of Captain America, of Bucky, of the Red Skull, and one of the most famous Marvel Comics covers in its entire history. The classic cover where Captain America socks Hitler right in the face was cover dated for March of 1941. In the number seven spot of our top 10 Golden Age Comics list is Action Comics number seven. Why number seven, you might ask? Action 7 is the second cover appearance of Superman. He had been featured in stories all the way back to Action Comics number one, but don't get ahead of me, we're not there yet. But this is only the second time the Man of Steel has been featured on the cover of the magazine which he made his debut. Regardless of whichever cover is better, the fact that it features Superman on the cover gives it a value boost which rockets it over the top of all of Superman's previous appearances save for his first appearance in Action Comics 1. Action Comics 7 is cover dated for December of 1938. 
in the number six spot on our list of top 10 golden age comics is Marvel Comics number one. This is a timely comics release. This may be a tad bit confusing because timely comics eventually becomes Marvel comics, but timely comics starts with a comic called Marvel comics. This issue is my favorite golden age. Number one, it has a beautiful human torch cover and it's really just a classic all the way around featuring the first appearance of many classic Marvel characters, including the human torch, Kazar, and the second appearance of Namor the Submariner. Cover dated in November of 1939, Marvel Comics number one is definitely a book that's gonna set your bank account back a little bit if you're ever lucky enough to put one in your collection. In the number six spot is All American Comics 16. All American 16 is cover dated for July of 1940 and features the first appearance of the Green Lantern. Commonly referred to as one of the more difficult Golden Age first appearances to track down, the value of All American 16 reflects that, landing it in the number five spot on our list. In the number four spot of the top 10 Golden Age comics is Batman number one. Cover dated for the spring of 1940, Batman number one has a lot going on for it. Not only is it the number one for one of pop culture's most beloved superheroes, it also features the first appearance of two of Batman's biggest villains. Both the Joker and Catwoman make their first appearances in this issue, though Catwoman is technically not referred to as Catwoman until later on. In this issue, she is the cat. And if that's not enough for you, Robin, the boy wonder, makes his second appearance in Batman number one. A little fun fact for you, if you look at the second Joker story in Batman number one and then compare it to the cover to Detective 40, you'll actually see that the two go together pretty well. That is because the second Joker story in Batman number one was originally slated to be run in Detective Comics 40, but was pulled to fill out Batman number one. Batman number one can be hard to find in one piece because the back cover features a really classic pinup from Bob Kane. So naturally those wound up on a lot of kids walls. In the number three spot is Superman number one. Cover dated for June 1939. Superman number one features the origin of Superman and also the first ever pinup in comics history. This is an incredibly desirable book and will set you back many, many, many thousands of dollars if you ever decide to track one down. In the number two spot, the runner up position in our list of top 10 comics is the first appearance of everyone's favorite caped crusader, the Batman in Detective Comics 27. Cover dated for May of 1939, Detective Comics 27 features the first appearance of Bruce Wayne, Commissioner Gordon, the Batman, that guy with the knife in his back. It is a classic with sales regularly in the hundreds of thousands of dollars and the highest graded ever sale going for into the low seven figures. Detective 27 is a piece of comic book history and its importance to the hobby collectors pop culture really can't be overemphasized. We've made it to the top of the list in the number one position for the top 10 Golden Age comics. This one is not a surprise. Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman. Cover dated for June of 1938, we get our first glimpse into the world of Clark Kent. We meet Lois Lane and Superman. Action Comics is the undisputed king of the comic book world. It has topped the list of most valuable comics for decades and is truly the grail of grails within the comic book collecting hobby. I feel fortunate that I've been able to see a few copies, hold a few copies, but that's about all I care to do because you're talking about some liability beyond that. So it's no surprise that at the top of this list is Action Comics number one. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you were able to pick up a few pieces of information or perhaps learn about a book that you weren't aware of. As always, our goal here on the Como Comic Books YouTube channel is to bring you the best tips, tricks, and knowledge to help you take your comic book collection to the next level. We'll see you all in the next video.